was like, we should interview Dr. Sebi. Now, let me just tell you guys, for those of you who don't know who Dr. Sebi is. So I feel like if you think you don't know, you might actually know who he is. You just don't know him by name. Okay. So Dr. Sebi is this renowned natural healer who has been working, uh, had been working quite a bit with a lot of people, a lot of celebrities actually, um, but, but was really renowned in the natural healing world. Um, he claimed that he could heal cancer naturally, he could heal, that he had healed um, HIV, AIDS, um, something else that was like uh, supposedly incurable. Um, or there's no cure for he healed. And um, he's very big on, you know, what you eat, um, that how you eat, it can heal your cells, can heal your body. And there's a lot of controversy around his death. Um, there's also a lot of controversy around the death of people connected to him. People connected to him, examples of people connected to him were uh, Nipsey Hussle, Mm -hmm. died in a kind of weird way. Uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez, she was actually in Honduras visiting him when she died in this really weird car accident. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of kind of mysteries surrounding his death and the people around him who worked with him and believed in him. And actually, um, Nick Cannon, when uh, Nipsey Hussle died, Nick Cannon came out and said, I'm going, so apparently Nipsey Hussle was working on a documentary about Dr. Sebi's work. So Nick Cannon came out and said, I'm going to continue this documentary and I will release it. Um, and I don't care who comes after me type of thing. And I just saw that it's about to be released in like two weeks. Oh um, my God. So anyway, I thought, I felt that while we're in this really interesting transitional time and where there's about to be a lot of disclosure supposedly in our world um, and a lot of breakthroughs. I sure hope nobody comes after me. I just I don't think they got that. time, girl. I don't okay. think they have time right now. I just want to say, just want to throw that out there. Well, but I thought this would be a good time. First of all, I think it's a safer time for all of this. Mm -hmm. Two, I think it would be a good time, especially considering the virus and like the the uh, the importance of health. Um, and I feel like it's time for a new understanding of health as well. So that's why I don't know. He came to my mind. Okay. All right. We're gonna go with it. Everybody, just pray that I'm safe. That we're safe. Praying. Man, I'm a whistleblower though. If anybody comes after me, I'm telling I'm a everybody. Whistleblower. Tell everybody. <laughs> you have a like, podcast. They got me. It's not the corona. They got me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. So I know like what you just described and what he looks like, and that's about it. Um, so can you say his name again? I'm so sorry. Dr. Dr. Sebi. Sebi. I think that's how you say it. S-E-B-I. I, I want to say Sebi, but. Oh, maybe okay. it's Sebi. It's fine. Dr. Sebi. You're better at English than I am. I hear someone laughing as we're sitting here talking. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. Normally they're in the corner of my room. He is not in the corner of my room. It feels like he's here, but I can't see him with mm. my um, like intuitive eyes. I just feel him. So let's start asking questions and see if he comes in a little clearer. Okay. Uh, Let's not start with the hard ones. Let's start with like a warm up question. Okay. Do we need to validate or can we just nah, go into it? No, no. Let's just go okay, into cool. it. The listener said they don't like that. So we're just going to okay. go into it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what? I also feel like he's not happy with what I have to drink currently, which is coffee and protein powder. Okay. <laughs> what would he prefer that you drink? Like greens. Greens. Okay. Well, let's just start with that. Like, what does he uh, want to share? Growing your own food is really important, being self-sufficient, um, helping other people, educating other people on um, how to grow their and harvest their own food. And eating with the seasons is also really important as well. If it doesn't grow in the season, it's not natural for that plant to grow, then it's not natural for you to eat it. Did he have an accent? 
he could have. I don't even know where It doesn't he's... matter. He has a little accent, I feel like, which is adorable and I love it. Okay. Um, well, he was right. He lived in Honduras, right? So, okay. Okay. So yeah, he was a sense. Honduran. Um, <laughs> okay. So greens. So growing your own food. Um, what does he think about uh, coronavirus and what's happening right now with our society? He's laughing about it, like like belly laughing about it. Um, he says, it's interesting what they tell you you cannot overcome, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Um, but the body, and he's doing this, he says the body is an amazing mechanism mm. that has the capacity and ability to correct and heal itself with no outside influence, influence necessary. Mm. <laughs> and what prevents this healing? The mind. Beliefs? Beliefs that other people put in place, but also um, beliefs that we put in place, limiting beliefs, and then also not only the food that we take in, but the way that we treat our bodies. So the, what we tell ourselves, what we tell our bodies, mm. you're no good, you can't do this, I don't like the fat here, things like that. <laughs> Yeah. How, how can we, does he have perspective on like loving our bodies more? Why is it so hard for people to love their bodies? We're caught up in the magazine society of what we should look like instead of appreciating each other for the differences that we have. And he's pointing to the skin. Um, it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he's passed, but we get the idea. Mm -hmm. um, and that, um, sorry, I got sidetracked. Wait. The differences that we have, appreciating the flaws that we have because they make us unique um, and not wanting to be copycat versions of everyone else. That's beautiful. You're not a photo, you're not a photograph, so stop being a photocopy. Hmm. I like that. That's a good quote. Um, okay. Let's see. I, if you're watching live right now, hi, Shanti. Shanti Sound says, yo, beauties, we were made to heal. Heart. Uh, if anyone's watching live right now and has a question for Dr. Sibi, then ask away. There are some questions that were already sent in. I'm going to go to I the- I think it is it's pronounced Sibi. It is Sibi? I think so. Sibi. He I like slowed it. it down. Sabi. Yeah. Sabi. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. But can we, t can you talk about mucus? Um, because that's something he spoke a lot about. What's, why is that important? Mucus? Um, he's pointing to the ears right now. So the, I know the mucus is in the throat, um, but it's all connected. The ears, nose and throat, right? It's important for the whole system. Um, the mucus, I get the feeling like it coats something that's important. Um, and it comes up with emotions does that make sense to you it comes up with the the it's like a cycle is what he's showing me it's a process and a cycle and it's directly related to not only the body and the inflammation in the body but also the emotions that are arising within the body mm. is is it like sticking it's like mucus is like sticking i, I was just getting this like mucus is, it's like stickiness it's like stuff that's not because if things are flowing right there's no mucus it's just going right through but mucus it's like sticky like slowing it down but you need the sticking in oh. some cases okay so if you were to have the sticking without your what are you saying is without your ribs they can't expand unless that sticking is there they'll get stuck and they won't go over top of each other correctly right um the mucus or it's not the mucus in the lungs, but it's something similar. It allows the lungs to expand and contract correctly. And you need that sticking sometimes. There isn't something that your body produces that you don't need. It's all a necessity. He's mm. talked a lot with his hands too. I like that. I like that understanding there isn't, but it's about the balance, right? Yes, it's about the balance. It's just like the exchange with the environment. There needs to be a balance as compared to take, 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 take. Mm. I love that. Okay. Um, well, there were some, some more specific questions about the mucus. One was from, one was how do you rid slash cleanse the mucus and how do you prevent it from coming back? 
Because I think in the past he's talked about how mucus like is the cause over, of all diseases. Overabundance of mucus. Yeah, overabundance. Of mucus. Um, is what he wants to be clear about is an overabundance. You cannot rid the body of mucus completely. He said that's where he went wrong when he was living, is you can't rid the body, body of mucus completely. Um, it will always be in the body in some form. Like I feel like very deep inside. Mm -hmm. However, there's ways to get rid of the mucus. I think he had a very specific technique that he used. And did he have a tool that he used as well to like get the mucus out? It feels like it was, it almost looks like an inhaler, but it's something oh. similar. It's like a breathing technique. I feel like it, it allows him to contract and then expel. Um, and then um, I keep feeling like warm liquids. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah, I think that does make sense. 